Hey guys, so guess what happened to me today? I was walking my neighbor's dog and I found 10 bucks on the ground. Boom! I know. Thank there you. There you go. I'm I think we're done. <laughs> I think we're done. Like, you can't beat that. <laughs> and that is season two. So the tip is when you're walking, always look down and you can find money. Yeah, and run into stuff. Raul has joined. Oh my God, we should talk about him. He is so talented. All across the board, not just actor, he's got the band. Raul and the big time. They've been nominated for a Maple Blues Award. He was in Clarice. The Newsroom. Train 48. The Lost Symbol. Grey's Anatomy. Titans. Suits. Nikita, Rookie Blue, Republic of Doyle, Flashpoint. He was also in The Ron James Show. Ladies and gentlemen, Raul Banasia. There he is! <laughs> Oh, it's exciting. Raul. Snack, snack, <laughs> snack. Why did you become an actor? I've always wanted to be a performer, whether it was being a musician or an actor. By the time I was 10, 11, 12, man, I want to be in front of people. And I haven't really figured out how to do anything else. Your first credit goes all the way back to, I think, 1996. First season of Ken Finkelman's The Newsroom. I was still a student at the National Theatre School. Come down for Theatre Ontario audition. Robin Cook came up to me and said, I'm doing this show called The Newsroom. But would you mind auditioning for it? Here's my card. Send me the VHS. I went back to school. I got my classmates to help me like to slam. I ended up getting it. I thought you were going to wait downstairs. Yeah, well, hi. It's my brother. I'm VJ. Oh, how you doing, man? I saw you speak last month at Ryerson on the evils of checkbook journalism. You were really good. But now, now leads, leads. Lead. Somebody falsified a coroner's report in order to cover up the murder of a suspect in your custody. I've got the right man, Paul. Talk soon. My gift of the gods from the pandemic, that was Clarice, uh, where I played this character, Joe Hudlin, who's a bad guy who re I thought. occurred throughout this series. Assistant Director Reed, sorry I'm late. <laughs> I was on my way to Orlando with my family when my flight was grounded for an FBI man. Uh, uh, forgive my attire, I came straight from the airport. What a mess, huh? A scene from Blindspot. Those are two amazing parts that I was so lucky to get. Like Ringo Starr, I'm just happy to be here. Can we talk about your music? I'm gonna call up all my friends, ask them to spare me a dime. How did that all start? I went to this incredible arts high school in Ottawa called Canterbury. You're just in this arts rich environment. I had a friend who was in the music program and had this cool rock band. And I was like, I want to do that too. And I have a jazz duo I started with my friend, Jesse Whiteley called Blue Standard. We put a record out a few years ago. At different times in my life, it's kind of gone up and down. You know, I know it'll be back. How dost thou guild and stirred? Oh, Rosencrantz, good lads. How do you both? Unbelievable. Ooh. Hamlet Solo, the ideas for it when I was in theater school. And then 2006, we premiered it. I toured it in Canada, in New York, in Edinburgh, and in the UK. And it's the most challenging thing that I do. It's a, a wonderful treat, but it's very scary. And I'm even getting kind of nervous just talking about it. What do you got coming up? I'm in a show called Dan Brown's The Lost Symbol. On Showcase, I will be performing at the Jazz Bistro with Blue Standard. My partner, Jesse Whiteley, on piano and our special guest Juno Award nominee, Allison Young on saxophone at the Jazz Beat Pro on Saturday, November the 27th. Raul, well, thank you very much, thank my friend. Thank you so much. Thank nice to see you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. He's great. He's a wow. lovely, lovely human being. If you liked the episode, you can like it. You can share it. You can subscribe. Or you can even comment.